Hello everyone, good day. My name is Paul and I'll be discussing to you uh, how to use learning outcomes in Schoolbook. Okay. So, uh, before anything else, let me introduce the webinar series of CILP. So, each day from Monday to Friday, we have a different uh, webinar topics. Monday is allotted for the use of our learning management system Schoolbook. Every Tuesday, uh, our topic will be about uh, Microsoft. So all the apps and tools of Microsoft, being a Microsoft Showcase School. And uh, uh, Wednesday is about video. All applications, whether Microsoft or other video tools that can be used for um, education. And uh, Thursday is EdTech Thursdays. Um, we're going to discuss other educational tools that are not covered in the video, um, uh, Microsoft or Schoolbook. Okay. Uh, and then lastly, Friday is a very special day. Uh, you have to watch out for the surprises that we're going to give you. Anyway, announcements will be posted in Schoolbook every morning and uh, also in the uh, Schoolbook support groups in Messenger. Uh, please like our FB page, DLSUD Center for Innovative Learning Programs. Uh, follow us on Twitter at DLSUD underscore CILP. And also subscribe to our YouTube channel, um, DLSUDCILP. Okay? And uh, all those who attended the seminar, the webinar a while ago, will be receiving their uh, certificate at Schoolbook. Okay? So, first, uh, talk about learning outcomes. What is learning outcome? Actually, one of the things that I like about learning outcome is um, I get to monitor which specific um, course learning outcome uh, am I successful, most successful, or least successful as a teacher? Um, although we know that the grades is the benchmark, whether the students have learned something or not, but it, uh, using mastery or learning outcomes takes it into the next level. Okay? We teachers can react uh, if, if the students need reinforcement in a particular competency. Okay, so yeah, um, so to do that, let's start how, uh, first let me demonstrate to you how I use learning outcomes in my class. So first, this is an example of my class last semester. Okay, um, to view the learning outcomes, click here, learning outcomes. Okay, so this is a summary of the learning outcomes. You see it's very colorful. Uh, green pertains to good standing of the students. Uh, um, the orange pertains to average, and then if it is red, that means they did not reach the minimum uh, outcomes. Okay, So the minimum grade for the outcomes. So as you can see here, this is the average. This row shows you the average uh, scores. Okay, So as a teacher, I can say, na, wow, I have 80% competency uh, I have 80% average score in this competency. So uh, we can also look at the area where students are, or where you as a teacher is most effective in delivering a certain competency. For example, here, knowledge construction is the highest. Okay, Student gets to uh, construct knowledge uh, based on the discipline. Okay? The least one here is uh, what? Skilled communication. Maybe there are many errors in their communication uh, in the assessment. So that's where they, uh, they're they not very good at. But still, that's, that's the, the grade here is acceptable. Now you can see this for all your classes. You can see also your effectiveness as a teacher when you see this. Okay? Uh, if we click here, if we click outcome, we can see the list of uh, competencies that we have. So here, uh, it's about tourism, geography, and culture. And then here we have Lasallian core values. These are the, the outcomes uh, embedded in, in this class. So you can see here, two lessons are associated with these competencies. In terms of assessments, uh, more of my assessments are uh, in geography. Okay? Ideally, we, have, we, we, we can spread out the number of competencies. So 
or if there will be difference, uh, a slight margin, uh, a few number of assessments would be acceptable. Uh, in my case, uh, yeah, the difference of the highest and the lowest is four. So yeah, for me, that's acceptable. Okay. So uh, what's difficult is, what's not acceptable is probably you have, if you have three competencies, one assessment, one competency has 20 assessment and the other one is one. Okay. So medyo malayo, that's not uh, very ideal. So also in my class, I, uh, in whatever class that I'm handling, I make sure that that 21st century learning are also part of the learning outcomes. So although this is just a, a, um, a supplemental outcomes, okay, we can see here that most of my assessments are uh, about self-regulation. So to train the students to become independent, I do this, self-regulation. And then the least one is uh, knowledge construction in Lasallian core values. Um, uh, before, when I tried to integrate my assessments uh, in, uh, uh, when I tried to embed the, the outcomes in my previous e-classes, I noticed that I have very high assessments about skilled communication. So this has got me to reflect, uh, yun lang ba ang gusto kong i-train sa kanila? Is it only about communication? What about other aspects? So it also gives you an overview on how you can give a uh, holistic um, learning for your students. Okay, so, yan. And then coverage, this one uh, teaches you, uh, uh, let's uh, read this. No? Sabi dito, here is how well the course teaches and assesses its associated outcomes. So you would get a 100% if all your assessments and lessons Okay, have uh, used all your identified outcomes. Ibig sabihin, na, na hit lahat, kaya 100% siya. Okay, so yun. And then, the rules will be discussed some other time when we discuss gamification uh, in the future. Okay, the options, I tried to experiment here uh, on this part and uh, must prefer ko yung naka-program na sa system. But it's up to you. You may want to experiment clicking this or unclicking that or choosing other options here. It's up to you as a teacher. But uh, anything that you do here will have an effect on the colors and the, 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 how the graph will be shown. So it's up to you. Okay. So now let's proceed to um, how to create learning outcomes, okay? So for that, I have uh, an example of my E-class here. Uh, there's no student here uh, in this E-class yet, okay? So first, we have to activate the learning outcomes in the tabs section. So normally, uh, you have to go to here, um, admin, then go to tabs, and then make sure that the learning outcomes box is clicked. Otherwise, you won't be able to uh, use learning outcomes. So click here. Once it is clicked, you will find uh, the learning outcomes here on this dashboard. Okay. So now once it's activated, uh, let's click learning outcomes. Okay. So now we're here on this page. Learning outcomes. If uh, your class uh, is newly created and you don't have any previously created outcomes, it will look like this, okay? So, now let's click Add Outcomes, okay? Add Outcomes. Uh, for now, let's uh, select an option, New, okay? New Outcome. So, since this is World Tourism, I'll just label this as World Tourism. And then, I'll leave that... Uh, uh, most of the geography will be about, uh, most of the competency will be about tourism, geography, and culture. The subject is tourism, DLSUD, Cavite, Philippines, and let's save it. Okay. So after saving it, this is what will happen. Okay? So we have to 
make sure that there are specific proficiencies in the outcomes. We have a set of outcome here. And what we have to do is we have to click this. I will uh, open it in a new tab. And, okay. So now we are here on the page of the outcome that we have created. Now let's add more outcomes here. Uh, click using a form. And then I'll add three competencies, three outcomes. Okay, so continue. So it's up to you what code you're going to use. It's your prerogative. As discussed in the um, chat forum, some wants to standardize it. It's good if your department or college can come up with a standard. But as of now, since this is not most widely used, um, you can use whatever uh, code you uh, want for the time being. Anyway, you can edit it in the future. Okay. So for now, I'll be using World Tourism 1. Uh, then uh, ideally, uh, before I continue, the competencies should be based in your learning outcomes identified in your syllabus. So I'll go to the uh, learning outcomes description here. I, I did it in, the, in a separate module, so in the course details here. So, I'll find the learning outcomes here. So, there are five. So, identify political geography. Number one is about geography. So, I'll click here, uh, world geography. Then, for the description, I will just copy this. Okay. And paste it here. Okay. Then for competency number two, we can use W2, and that is about culture. So I will type here world culture, and then I'll copy this here, there. And then competency three, WT3, I will it's about tourist attraction, so it's about world tourism. I will copy this and paste it here. And now we're done with all the three competencies here. If I go back to my class and look at the learning outcomes, I can now see here in the outcomes part that... My class already has outcomes here. Okay. Now let's try adding outcomes based on your previously created outcomes. To do that, go to library. So again, as I have mentioned before, I always int uh, integrate uh, 21st century skills. Okay. So I click this. If I click submit, now I can, now I can see all the assessments, uh, all the learning outcomes that I previously created before. Okay. So now that we have this, now that we have our set of outcomes, it's now time to integrate this into our lessons and assessments. As you can see here, uh, the lessons and, uh, and assessments are still blank. That means at present, no lesson or no assessment is associated with any competency. So to do that, let's go to, let's, let's try to integrate um, outcomes in the lesson, in the lesson. Okay, so Southeast Asia, I'll click this. Uh, then click set outcomes for the lesson. Now you just click which competency among your identified competencies uh, you want to associate this lesson with. For example, um, since this is about Southeast Asia, I think the three will be hit. Geography, culture, and tourism. Okay, so for now, I will uh, use that. Okay, so now the lesson is associated with uh, outcomes. So let's look at the learning outcomes again. Here we see that yeah, there's already number of lesson associated with this competency. Okay. The next task, the next part is to associate uh, an assessment with a competency. So let's visit uh, 
a lesson in Southeast Asia. For example, uh, yeah, video of, oh no, let's see here, um, uh, Southeast Asia products. Okay, so here we can set an outcome for Southeast Asia products. Uh, let's look at the assessment first. Okay, so here it says here uh, students get to choose three countries in Southeast Asia. Then they have to identify one product from each chosen country. Okay, take a picture of the item. And then uh, create a PowerPoint slideshow. Then upload PowerPoint file. Okay. So, and these are other rules and tips. Now, uh, the outcomes I'm going to set, since they're required to uh, choose country, they need to have knowledge of geography there. And, of course, the product that they will um, use or feature. So, it's about culture. There's no tourism because uh, there's no tourist attraction involved. So... Okay, so other uh, learning outcomes, they, since they will be required to explain it a bit, so there's skilled communication there, um, no, self, no knowledge construction, self-regulation because they'll be doing it on their own, they'll be, they're given independence to choose, okay, and then we have uh, no real-world problem solving, use of ICT because they will be uh, integrating, uh, using PowerPoint, so now I have five. Then I'll click save. Okay. So that's the outcomes. If I go back again to the learning outcomes, now I can see here that the assessments, I already have uh, a number here, a statistics here, that these two competencies are part of one assessment and so as with these three. Okay. So, the last uh, topic that I'll discuss is using uh, learning outcomes in your rubrics. So, to do that, let's go back to the assessment that we created a while ago. Okay? So, that's Southeast Asia products. Okay? Um, we're going to use rubric. So, there's already a rubric here. Let me delete this for a moment. Okay? So, how do we uh, uh, use... Uh, the rubric based on learning outcomes. So we create new. Okay. And then once we have this, you see here there's an option that will appear, add outcomes. So if I click that and click OK, now I get to choose which outcome I'm going to use as part of the rubric. So I'll just copy what I identified before. It's about geography, culture, communication, self-regulation, and use of ICT. Then I'll click Submit. Now, you can see here in the rubric okay, that we have these five assessments, uh, five outcomes as part of the rubric. Okay. Uh, now, we need, all we need to do is delete these two previous uh, empty rubric. Just click here, the three dots, and click Delete. Then OK. Click here and click delete. And now we are left with the five. The next thing we have to do is to make sure that the points rounds up to 100. It's up to you how you manage your grading system. But for me, I always make it sure that at the end of the day, uh, they get 100 points. So since there are five, I'll weight them equally. So I'll assign 20 points for each criteria. Uh, some of you may want to put higher um, points for the, uh, for the major subject competencies. The side competencies can receive a lower point allotment, but it's up to you. For, uh, in this video, this is just set for uh, as an example. Okay. So now we click Save. And there we have it. We have the five rubrics here. Uh, you may want to edit this part. You can put here excellent, very good, fair, or poor. It's up to you. You can also add more tiles here. If you want to make it five-point rubric, uh, five-scale, uh, it's up to you. Okay. So, yeah, 
uh, just a recap uh, we explained uh, we explained what uh, learning outcomes is and uh, I demonstrated to you how I used it in my e-class and uh, we have uh, taught you how to um, create uh, learning outcomes so you have to activate it first and then you have to um, go to, uh, you have to create learning outcomes then you add proficiencies and then you can associate your lesson with the specific outcomes and then associate your assessment with the specific outcome and lastly is you can use rubrics uh, you can use your outcomes as your rubrics okay so thank you very much uh, uh, for listening and God bless us all and stay safe.